Hello everyone. Good morning to you. Good evening. Good good day or good night wherever you are in the world. But if you're listening to this, I um want to just talk to you guys really about some things that we've been talking about lately here. Um and that, that is, you know, how the coronavirus pandemic is just changing the world and it's just is really making people be more innovative and I want you to know from a blueprint of or standpoint of the Americans that are already doing it and this article is it came up in the um, business section of uh, yahoo.com and I always look at some of the financial information here again in the mornings and just kind of reading articles about you know world affairs and I think you should take that up to if you are an aspiring business owner or if you are someone that want to you know be be an owner, um, be in ownership and leave legacies for your family so you can know what's going on in the world. Okay. This was um an article from the from Sat from actually the twenty sixth which was yesterday. Now okay, I know you know may know who this young man is. He is the founder and CEO, chief executive operator of a major, major empire and um he built this this is Jeff Bezos. He built this particular Amazon concept. He built this writing uh, um actually he and his wife was traveling from Washington to California and he created his business plan straight strictly on a napkin. Yes, everybody told him it was crazy, everybody told him it wouldn't work. It you know, there were a lot of things said about this particular um, idea he had, but he didn't give up. He didn't stop. So let that be a let that be a lesson for some of you as well. But I just want to kind of go over this article, and it says a little bit about you know just to give you accurate information about um, how you know other people are the one percenters are are really growing their business, and I want you to do to think on these lines as well and do things that's going to help you grow your business or start a business and give you hope and to let you know that these particular already aspiring business owners they make so much money um and i can i i do you know to be honest with you i even see the things that i'm doing with the coaching business that i've done you know behind the scenes people have reached out to me dm me and i have um had even some of them been afraid to just move forward in their business so it, it's kind of like a scale of you know, it, it balances out, but here again, with these people being on a, a different level, um, Jeff Bezos and the ones that are already doing great things in the world and have businesses set up. Right here, it says eight of the eight of the um, billionaires have seen their net worth surge over one billion dollars each, including Amazon, Jeff Bezos, his ex-wife, which he has stock in it. Um, Mackenzie Bezo, um, Eric Young, the founder of Zoom, and you know, you guys know that Zoom has been been doing extremely well because most of us has had to be home quarantined, and then most conferences is is kind of like, you know, done on Zoom now, and their stock went up to definitely it, it surged tremendously. I don't know the exact figures, but it surged for for um, Mr. Eric here, the former Microsoft C um, chief. Steve Ballmer, um, Elon Musk of Tesla, Tesla and SpaceX, Technocrat, all of these companies, and all of them have to do with technology. So I would not pass up on any idea that you have. This is this is just a this is the common denominator here. Jeff Bezos uses technology in his in his own creative way. Zoom, of course, you know it's used mainly technology and Microsoft has been around for a long time and of course we know that that's a major 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 component and a major sister to any technology that we use in tesla um elon musk he's doing he, he's all he's invested so so much into technology i didn't know reading up on some things about him and what i want all of us to know i know you may say these are billionaires yeah they've been in business for a long time but some of our young people, some of you have children that have ideas that you, I think some of you need to invest in. Do not forget about, don't forget about the, 
the technology. Um, you know, you may have some kids that know a lot about technology. Just don't don't stifle your your young people or anybody grow or anybody's ideas. I remember hearing a story that Master P was saying his young men. Well, they they his boys they're they're under the age of eighteen. The um the two not Romeo but some of his other two young young men that he have. They came up about a year ago, even before we needed more house cleaning products and hand sanitizers and things. They came up with an idea to create, you know, some product, and they wanted to create a product line. And Master P himself said he didn't see the idea. Romeo said he didn't see the vision. They didn't see the vision, but he didn't let that stop the young men. So only thing I'm saying to some of us is our kids, if, if you don't want a business, if you don't want to do it, if you're so set in your ways, not saying that you are, but if you are and you're just saying, okay, I'm comfortable, I'm fine, everybody don't want a business. Yeah, I understand that. But if you have a child, if you have somebody that that you can see the potential in them, please invest in them. That's all I'm saying to you. Invest in their next, you know, in the, in the next level, the next chapter of their life. Because after this coronavirus, things won't be the same. Nothing will be the same again. And back to what I was saying about Master P's sons. They created a product and now they, they've sold out. And they created this a year ago. They did all the necessary um, things to get their product out on the market. So somehow, some way, some of you need to do this. Get a business coach. Get somebody to help you do whatever. And really, I'm not going to read this verbatim word for word, but just to get, just to hit some spots and just to let you see, guys, that um, you know um, that all of these people they really had a strategic plan here to take their businesses to the next next you know next level and it says the banks that were the largest recipients of bailout cash you guys know that the money ran out um in the last recession has also done well ranking um 10 billion in fees from government loans according to the analysts of national um public radio now in this article it also says somewhere it says the uh I know that a lot of you guys, if you were in business, and I remember this, 2008, 2009, well, 2007, 2008, up in that area, when that market crashed, my business, although I had my brick and mortar salon business, it suffered, in, especially in the area where I was in. So I definitely know, although this one here is 10 times, it seems it's worse. Um, and I know that I had to kind of regroup and make some decisions. And then I opened up another salon, but at the same time, I was determined not to give up on myself so you know i didn't care what the people said i was just what determined and that's how we have to be you have to forget about the naysayers and forget about what people say about you and your next level they ain't paying your bills for you don't even worry about that <laughs> you know i'm just i'm just keeping it keeping it wrong <laughs> they're not taking care of you they are not paying your bills they won't come and give you a hand they will talk about if you even come to them and say i need your help they will talk about you but, you know, you if you find one or two people that will sincerely be there for you, you're blessed. I always say that. Okay, okay, and then this, it talks about here, uh, by um, several years after the end of the last recession, by 2016, the bottom 90% of households in the United States still not re recovered from the last, down, um, you know, the last downturn, while the 10% has more wealth than they had in 2007. So they really just probably reinvented themselves. And they're talking about Jeff Bezos and all of these other people that are doing extremely well, even though they were a part, they were impacted by the last recession. Throughout the recovery, stock market gains disproportionately um, favored the wealthy. The top 1% of households owned nearly 38% of all stock. Hint, hint, hint. You need to buy some stock, people. According to the research by the New York University economist um, Edward Wolf, um, even before the coronavirus hit, home ownership in the U.S., a traditional source of wealth on um, growth, was well below its 2004 peak. So, you know, and I think what is happening is a lot of areas, there are investors down there building apartment complexes. Home ownership is kind of down because they're building more. I know they are here in this city where I am because Cyber Command is really bringing a lot of people to the area 
and they are building up um, apartment units all over the place and they are being filled before they can even completely get them up so you know the re reit that's an investment that a lot of people um hit to, hit to some game <laughs> that's a lot of people where they a lot of investors put all their money together and everybody get you know dividends off of that investment that they put in and one time before I mentioned to you, I, I may have, maybe you've heard me say this, but I've mentioned to some of you before that even if you are concerned about investing with someone, get an attorney involved, get the legal paperwork involved if you feel like you can't trust, you know, someone else to handle the finances. Get somebody, a, a mediator or some company that you vet and trust, and then you guys can put pull your money together because. I know in the African-American community, that model is not being used. And I know a lot of you have this disposable income it, in the studies and the research and everything has shown you spend $1.3 trillion. Now, I think for last year up until the middle of the year, it was $1.2, but it's $1.3 trillion in consumerism. So what? where is all that money going? It's going back into the hands of those people that I just mentioned above. So change your mindset. On that aspect too as well now let me read this portion right here and I want this is something I really want you because I'm not just saying this it ain't coming from Sandy it ain't coming from Sandy's speculation it's not coming from oh you know she just saying that it's coming from look research okay for black and Latinos it's probably Latinos and they probably that's you know from the like type of Americans the situation is worse the black the black white wage gaps are larger today than they were in 1979. So you see that right there? In other words, we're digressing. We're not progressing in a lot of areas. And I know why. And like I tell you guys, you know, I feel like you got so much to offer. You create your creativity is is unlimited. It's just that we gotta get we gotta do something different we can't be doing the same old thing because our wealth is dwindling our legacy building is gonna be you know all obsolete or it, it's just not really not not gonna seem like it's just not gonna matter after a while we really, i think we need to shift and i think we need to see that we can build and stop thinking that just because somebody present an opportunity to of opportunity to you that they are they scammers or they flim flammers or oh they don't know what they're doing or they don't know what they're talking about but then you can go something someone else can tell you something and you think it's the gospel which one they may be trying to get what they can out of you and two they may probably don't even have your best interest at heart they're looking at their bottom line and the only thing they want to do is sell your product or sell your service or sell you something that you know that you think is much better you got to start changing your mindset and stop thinking just because somebody looks like you is not on the up and up or somebody's you know I don't have this issue and if I did guess what I would do that ain't the person that I a client that I would serve because here again I do know that my gifts is needed by someone okay may not be the person that criticize or judge but my services are needed by someone so let me go on and just finish this right here this little bit at the bottom here and then i'll be done with this little section that i want to share with you here meanwhile billionaires have been unable to put a well-heeled foot on uh, foot wrong billionaire wealth soars 1130 percent in 2020 dollars between 1990 and 2020 according to the institute of public studies that has been those studies they, this data surveys have been given this information here is accurate ain't nobody i ain't listening to nobody on social media telling um you know here's the source right here this is the source okay that increase is more than 200 times greater than the 5.3 i'm sorry 5.37 percent growth of medium wealth in the united states over the same period and the tax obligation of american billionaires measures measured as a percentage of their wealth decrease 79 percent between 1980 and 2018. so when the pandemic pandemic struck those at the apex of the wealth pyramid were better positioned than ever to take advantage of the chaos the rest not so much collins has been studying income equality for 25 years and has seen the really rich 
win victory after victory. But even he was surprised by how quickly America's billionaires have turned pandemic into profit. I still get shocked, he said. This is all I want to show you on this article, but just remember this, and I think I'm going to just title this, you know, here's some strategies that how the rich got wealthy, you know, here's some strategies on how the rich got wealthy on, you know, in the pandemic, but here again, I always tell you there's opportunities in chaos, don't, you know, don't try to capitalize in a mean way, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying is, you can capitalize on something and then you can help and give back to other people that are really that really need your help because i know that we love we're giving people and i i, I do think that here again somebody else that somebody else has the next model kind of like amazon might be even better than amazon jeff bezos is not the only one that can do what he's doing you can create something too same way you can create a model almost the same as he is or different and even better so you know you creators out there i'm talking to you i want you to just take a just just take a take an inventory on what you have to offer and just just stop saying that you want to leave a job stop saying that you want to do something different and just do it get out and get a business coach get a business coach like me or whomever you can reach me at bit.ly slash sandy business coach and if you're seeing this you're on my page so go ahead and do what you need to do to, to get some wealth generated into your and leave some legacies for your children don't let them have a be begging for a job don't let them be begging for ways of life you know all their lives but anyway i just wanted to give this to you and um, this is just a little bit of tad a bit of information so you guys have a beautiful morning and i will see you with some more tips and tools and don't forget to like my page reach out to me follow me on my biz, biz strategy sandy page so where you can you can stay abreast of the things that's going on because it's it's going to get intense you know here after a while meaning intense it's going to get intense of you you know you might miss this information because i don't leave information up um too long so you i hope you share this out and get all the you know share this information out and get all the knowledge that you can someone that research and someone that have your best interest at heart okay and i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye-bye take care have a beautiful day